delicious. Who knew that Wyoming and Jackson had... These food uh, options are, uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel and if you're new, welcome. So we are in Jackson and this vlog is going to be about food because we're total foodies so we're coming back at you guys with another food guide um, and we are going to do where to eat in Wyoming. We're staying between Tenton Village and Jackson so we're going to show you all the best places to eat. Yeah, we just landed. It's going to be really great. This town is really cool. <laughs> so we're going to have dinner right now because obviously we're starving. I'm really hungry. From the a mishap from this I'm morning. really hungry. So let's eat. So we're here at Hand Fire Pizza and behind me uh, you will see that they are uh, making it in front of us. So it's an open concept. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we got two 12 inch pizzas, so the personal ones. Uh, one of them Swedish Italian sausage and then the other one a Caprice. Pretty excited about it. yummy um delicious so dinner really was good absolutely great uh but we're gonna head to the hotel right now and we'll see you tomorrow for breakfast for more eats good morning everyone good morning so we are here at the Alpen Rose, which is uh, a hotel right next to our resort in Tenton Village they actually have a bistro called Alpenhof Yes, yeah, so it's Austrian inspired. Um, so let's go and have a wonderful breakfast. Exciting. Breakfast just came, we both got crepes. So I have the Nutella and banana, so let's try that right now. Mm. It's really good. That was super yummy and we are stuffed and thank goodness because we have a long day ahead of us. We are going horseback riding and we are going to a winery. Um, so we're heading there right now and we'll see you for dinner. Okay, so we are on the waiting list for the Mary Piglet's Mexican Cafe. It wasn't on our original, original itinerary to eat here, but yesterday when we went to the Tenton Pizza, we actually passed by it and there was a long wait as well as the food just smells so good. So we decided to come here today. So we're just waiting to go inside and eat and I'm super excited and I'm starving. So let's wait. We are finally seated and we've got complimentary chips and salsa and it has to be one of the best salsas I've ever tasted. Rob's gonna make fun of me because he always says that this is the best thing I've ever tasted and this is the best thing I've ever tasted. But it's really, really good. The best. And the atmosphere is like wonderful, guys. So like this was not planned, but I'm so glad we're here, like already into it, so. So we got a twisted cowgirl dip, which looks like uh, queso and guac, always my favorite. Um, presented really well, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. We got shrimp taco, buffalo taco, and mahi-mahi. It's freaking exciting. So I got the chicken quesadilla. It comes with this sauce. It's spicy, but it's really good. And the rice is really good. And I'm very picky about my rice, considering I always grew up on rice. And everything's just absolutely delicious. This place is the bomb.com. 
This is freaking amazing. The shrimp taco. The shrimp taco. Amazing. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. So delicious. Who knew that Wyoming and Jackson had these food uh, options are uh, they're pretty good. Oh and my we're god! We're from the tri-state area, so our food options are pretty good. This is probably one of the best I've been doing in a long time. Oh my god! So like, who knew that like Mexican here in Wyoming would be so good? I'm glad we randomly just stopped by again. It wasn't on our original itinerary. So worth the the surprise. It was awesome. Beautiful. So. We'll see you tomorrow again for breakfast for our next recommendation where we will be eating together. Right, so let's travel together through food, as always. Okay, so I know yesterday we said we were gonna get breakfast. The place where we were gonna get breakfast, it was super packed, long line, so we decided to walk around town and hold it out, and now we are having lunch at Liberty Burger. Um, so it's this huge burger place. It's owned by the same restaurant group that we ate at last night, the Mexican place. So they own a few restaurants in town, like a lot of variety, so I'm super excited to have a really nice, believe it or not, bison burger <laughs> that apparently Rob's always saying that I'm having but very excited so we both got specialty burgers she got the wild west I got the nooner and uh, we both upgraded to bison because I figured I had to give in to her and get some bison. Um, I got the nooner, it has egg in it, uh, you know, because we didn't have breakfast, so I figured I'd get something with egg in it. Um, she got onion rings, I got the uh, sweet potato fries, but realistically, uh, I'm just gonna eat her onion rings. So lunch was absolutely delicious, some really great burger options, and again, bison burger. Bison burger. <laughs> bison. Uh, so we will see you later for dinner in Tenton Village because this walk is eats both in Jackson and Tenton Village. Just to let you know, here in Jackson there is free parking. Yeah like right near downtown so feel free to park and there's so many eats around everything's here. within walking distance so don't worry about parking in a lot and walking around exactly so this is one of the best places to eat here in wyoming delicious <laughs> hi guys so we are in teton mountain uh lodge we're actually here for one of their restaurants burr restaurants which is a kind of like nicer restaurant if you're looking for that while you're around here we're not staying here again. Just to let you know, this hotel goes up to about $500 a night. Um, so it's definitely on the pricier side, but you can still enjoy their restaurant, so let's go in. So we are just now seated inside the Spur restaurant. Uh, we ordered the two special appetizers, our lobster mac and cheese and coconut shrimp. I also got a drink. This is a huckleberry meal. Huckleberry is very big in Wyoming, Montana. So it's only fitting that I got it in a alcoholic beverage. So our appetizers just came out. Uh, so the coconut shrimp, it's so crispy. It gives a really nice crunch and the coconut adds a sweetness that pairs really well with their sauce, which has a kick. There's a little bit of red peppers there and it just all really comes together very nicely. It is so good. I know I say that a lot, guys, but not to toot my own horn, I know how to pick restaurants. <laughs> Now for the lobster mac and cheese, it is just like, it's very like homey mac and cheese. It's super creamy and you can tell that they do the cheese sauce, um, like homemade in here and the lobster is just super tender and adds like a very nice flavor to the overall feel. And then the breadcrumbs, another nice layer of a uh, crunch. So I got buffalo short ribs on top of a potato puree with uh, onions. It uh, should be really good. The bones are still there, which is uh, it's pretty exciting. So we just finished our dinner. Absolutely delicious. The filet meal was tender. The potato um, puree was so creamy and the sauce just had a little bit of a kick to it, but it just came together like really, really nicely. Again, as you can tell, we finished it all. Um, so now to you, Rob, for your last thoughts. 
So everything was really tender. Uh, the meat came right off of the bone. The puree was fantastic. Uh, sauteed spinach was awesome. Uh, I did push the, uh, the onions to the side, but that's not because they weren't good. I'm just not a huge fan of onions, but everything else was really great. Okay guys, so we're here back at dinner. We're at the Mangi Mangi Moose. Um, so it's kind of like pub food, but also like Midwest. It's gonna have gaming meats and some trout, which is like really well known in Wyoming. So let's go inside and eat. So we're here at the Mangi Moose. Um, and we got a whole bunch of appetizers because we haven't eaten all day. Uh, but really what we want to highlight is the elk chili and the trout dip. Uh, should be pretty exciting. All the rest of the stuff is just filler. We just tried the trout dip. It's really good. It's creamy and it's not like hot. It's not like cold. And what's great is if you're not a big fish person, it's not overpowering with trout. It's just really creamy texture and it's really, really good. I haven't tried the chili yet, so I'm gonna try it right now. It tastes like regular chili. I don't see the difference between beef and elk. And it's really good. Okay guys, so we actually just left Mangi Moose. <laughs> Amazing dinner. <laughs> Fantastic. Also too, we didn't really talk about it at the time, but they have wings there. And the wings are also phenomenal. Um, on par with the ones that we had in Buffalo, which were fantastic. So I would also try those. Yeah, they were absolutely <laughs> delicious. But this brings um, our best places to eat in Wyoming, Tenton Village and Jackson. Food vlog to an end. So I hope you guys enjoyed eating with us. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's travel together in the next one. <laughs> Rob to ground control. No signs of intelligent life. Idaho is all about potatoes.